If you want to pass the AZ-900 exam in 2026, you need to master these specific scenarios. In this video, we're breaking down five critical practice questions that often trip people up. Let's dive into question one. Exam notes. Each correct answer presents a complete solution. Each correct selection is worth one point. Which of the following services would not be considered infrastructure as a service? Select two correct options. The options are A, virtual network, B, Azure Functions app, C, virtual machine, D, SQL server in a VM, E, Azure SQL database. This question tests your understanding of cloud service models in Azure. You need to identify which two services are not IS, meaning they fall under PaaS, platform as a service, instead. Think about who manages the underlying infrastructure and how much control you have. The correct answer is Azure Functions app, Azure SQL database. Azure Functions app is a managed platform as a service, PaaS offering, where Azure handles all the infrastructure, servers, and scaling automatically. You just write and deploy your code. Azure SQL database is also PaaS because Microsoft manages patching, backups, high availability, and infrastructure, allowing you to focus purely on your database and applications. Why the other options are incorrect. Virtual network, A, is IS because it provides virtualized networking infrastructure that you configure and manage. Virtual machine, C, is classic IS. You manage the entire OS, applications, and configurations on virtualized hardware. SQL Server in a VM, D, is IS because you control the SQL Server instance, OS, and all configurations manually. Quick memory tip, functions equal fully managed. SQL database is delegated admin. Both take infrastructure worries away from you. If Azure manages the OS and platform for you, it's PaaS, not IS. If this video is helping you, support us by hitting the like button, and don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. Question two. Which Azure service is meant to be a security dashboard that contains all the security and threat protection in one place? Select the correct option. The options are A, Azure Portal Dashboard, B, Azure Monitor, C, Azure Security Center, D, Azure Key Vault. This question wants you to identify the single pane of glass for security in Azure, where you can see threats, alerts, and recommendations together. Think of it as the main security control room for your Azure resources. The correct answer is Azure Security Center. Azure Security Center is built as a centralized security management and threat protection solution, giving you a dashboard with security alerts, recommendations, and hardening guidance for your Azure workloads. It helps you monitor security posture, detect threats, and respond from one central place, which is exactly what the question describes. Why the other options are incorrect. Azure Portal Dashboard, A, is just a general customizable start page and is not focused specifically on security. Azure Monitor, B, is mainly for performance, metrics, and logs, not a dedicated security and threat dashboard. Azure Key Vault, D, secures secrets, keys, and certificates, but it does not provide an overall security dashboard for all resources. Quick memory tip, think, security center equals security control center. If the question mentions all security and threat protection in one place, go for Azure Security Center. Question three, which service provides official outage root cause analyses, RCAs, for Azure incidents? Select the correct option. The options are A, Azure Monitor, B, Azure Sentinel, C, Azure Advisor, D, Azure Service Health. This question is asking which Azure service gives you official post-incident details, including the root cause, after an Azure outage or issue. Think of it as the place where Microsoft publishes what went wrong and why for service incidents. The correct answer is Azure Service Health. Azure Service Health is designed to show you current and past issues with Azure services, including detailed incident reports and root cause analyses once Microsoft finalizes them. It lets you review impact, timeline, and mitigation steps for outages that affected your subscriptions, which is exactly what you need for official RCAs. Why the other options are incorrect. Azure Monitor, A, focuses on metrics, logs, and alerts for performance and health of your own resources, not official platform RCAs. Azure Sentinel, B, is a CM SOAR solution for security analytics and threat detection, not for platform outage investigations. Azure Advisor, C, provides best practice recommendations for cost, performance, reliability, and security, but not outage root cause reports. Quick memory tip, remember, service health equals service RCAs. 
If the question mentions official Azure incident or outage RCAs, pick Azure Service Health. Question four, you have a resource group named SecureRG and planning to create virtual networks and app services in SecureRG. You need to prevent the creation of virtual machines only in SecureRG. What should you use? The options are A, Azure Policy, B, Azure Role, C, Tag, D, Lock. This question is testing your understanding of which Azure tool can selectively block or allow specific resource types in a resource group. You need something that can enforce a rule like deny VM creation but allow everything else in SecureRG. The correct answer is Azure Policy. Azure Policy allows you to define rules that control which Azure resources can be created, modified, or deleted based on conditions like resource type, location, or configuration. You can create a policy with a deny effect specifically for the resource type Microsoft.Compute Virtual Machines and assign it to SecureRG while still allowing virtual networks and app services to be created. Why the other options are incorrect. Azure Role, B, controls who has permissions to perform actions, like contributor or reader, but it cannot selectively block specific resource types while allowing others. Tag, C, is used for organizing and categorizing resources for billing or management, not for enforcing creation restrictions. Lock, D prevents deletion or modification of existing resources, but does not block the creation of new resources. Quick memory tip. Remember, policy equals prevention rules. When you need to prevent or deny specific actions or resource types, always think Azure policy. To get the free PDF, simply watch this full video. As you watch, you'll see the progress bar generating your PDF in real time. Once the video is almost complete, the download button unlocks automatically. No forms, no sign up, just learn first, then download. Question five, which of the following is not a layer of defense in depth? Select the correct option. The options are A, none of these, B, data, C, physical security, D, network, E, compute. This question is checking if you know the seven layers of the defense in depth security strategy used in Azure. You need to determine if all the options listed, data, physical security, network, and compute, are actually part of those official layers. The correct answer is A. None of these the defense in depth strategy in Azure consists of seven layers. Physical security, identity and access, perimeter, network, compute, application, and data. Since options B, data, C, physical security, D, network, and E, compute, are all valid layers in the defense in depth model, none of them is incorrect. Therefore, the correct answer is none of these, because all the listed options are actual layers. Why the other options are incorrect. Data, B, is the innermost core layer that Defense in Depth protects, focusing on encryption and access controls. Physical security, C, is the first outermost layer protecting data center hardware and facilities. Network, D, is a middle layer that limits communication between resources and implements segmentation. Compute, E is a layer that secures access to virtual machines and compute resources. Quick memory tip, remember the seven layers, P-I-P-N-C-A-D, physical, identity, perimeter, network, compute, application, data, all working together like castle defenses. That was five questions down, but we have more to cover to complete your 50 question set. We've also completed a full 100 question AZ-900 series. Check that out next. To unlock the free PDF, Watch it on our website. Link is pinned in the comments.